Good evening. His death ignited an emotional debate about the police use of tasers and today Robert Jakanski's mother said a final goodbye to him in his native Poland. The 42-year-old died back in October after RCMP officers tasered him at YVR. Today's funeral was marked by sadness and a call for change to prevent a similar tragedy. Ted Chernecki reports from Poland. She has slept only a few hours these last few nights leading up to today's memorial service for her son. And upon arrival, Sofia Szczesowski is swarmed by a throng of Polish media. Even though Piaszczyca is a very small village, its landmark is a massive and spectacular church. And somehow, from this tiny community, hundreds gathered to pray. One of the most poignant moments involving a video montage of a younger Jakanski growing up in this picturesque part of southwest Poland. As expected, a eulogy sent from Canada by a close friend of the family called on Canadians to demand justice for a man who died an agonizing death in a strange land, a land he had dreamed of making his new home. I can speak for Polish and Canadian people that we hope Canada will show the world that justice will prevail in Robert's case so that all immigrants can feel safe and welcome. Even though the service was covered by at least five Polish television outlets, two of them national in scope, we could not find anyone representing Canada, no one from the Foreign Service, and certainly no one from the RCMP. For a small village like Piaszczyca, this was a remarkable turnout, a very emotional service lasting about an hour and a half, and one with political overtones. Chikansky's uncle says he hopes the death of his nephew will make police either change the way they use tasers or stop using them altogether. He adds he won't be traveling to Canada anytime soon. As is the custom in Poland, family and friends bring bouquets of flowers. And such was the outpouring of public sympathy towards Chikansky's mother that within minutes of the service ending, the grave was enveloped in compassion. The only part visible, the tombstone, which read, Robert Jakansky died tragically in Canada.